So, got a little story for y'all. Um, not really a moral to it or anything like that. Just a story I wanted to share. Um, I've been thinking about different things from my past. You know, seeing that I'm about to have a child and everything. Um, just thinking of how I was raised and different things I went through. So, um, I was raised by my aunt. Um, thinking I was a single child for a while. Uh, and, um, because, you know, she was a single woman raising a child, she had to work. So, I had to have daycare. Luckily, there was a sister in the hall who ran a daycare, which a lot of them do, actually. And so I went there. Um, it wasn't free, though. My mom still had to pay her. Even though she was a sister and they were close friends and everything like that, I still had to pay her. No breaks for us. But, that's neither here nor there. Um, I went there when I was very young, actually. When I was five months old, I actually got dropped and fell down the stairs. It was like 13 stairs. I had a bald spot in the back of my head for a long time. Uh, so, I didn't go back for a while. Then I ended up going back. Can't remember how old I was. It was probably about four, maybe. I think I was four. No, I was four. Um, and I started going back. Went there literally every single day after school. Up until I hit, uh, later in middle school. Um, when I was in middle school, 6th or 7th grade, um, actually I believe it was 6th grade, um, the, uh, husband of the sister, um, he was, he was in construction. No, uh, he was in d demolition, sorry. And being in demolition, he made a lot of money. He would flaunt his money and show it to me and have big wads and stuff and everything like that. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, you make a lot of money. But uh, because I was a witness, they felt that they had special disciplinary uh, rights with me. My mom even told them that. She said that she could, they could discipline me. Because you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Right? Um, <clears throat> uh, it's not like they ever beat me or anything like that, but, uh, I mean, I was handled quite roughly sometimes. He was a pretty strong guy. And, um, when the sisters yelling at me didn't work, he would yell at me. Grab tight and things like that. I was never really afraid of him. But he had weird ways of disciplining people. For instance, um... There was no specific crime that would merit this, but just to give you an example, if you got in trouble, what he would do is make you stand up and stick both your arms straight out. Straight out. And hold him there for as long as he wants you to stay there. That shit hurts. Um, and if you were bad enough, he'd make you do that holding uh, three liter bottles, two liter bottles, which is obviously a lot harder. But... So one day, uh, I was chilling in the daycare, which was held in the home, and I found a Swiss Army knife. It was just chilling. And um, I'd always really wanted one. It was a really cool one. It was really thick. Had a lot of different cool tool things on it. Uh, more than just your average one. But, you know, I didn't really realize how expensive or anything it was at the moment. I just thought it was cool. And I watched it all day. It was sitting on the floor somewhere. And no one came and moved it. So, I took it one day. I went home. Yes, happy. I'm going to go to school the next day and, you know, show it off to people. So I went home and I hid it under my mattress. Later on that day... He calls the house, asking if I had seen his knife. I said, no, never seen your knife. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it anywhere. And he was like, oh, well, you know, he couldn't find it and everything. He had talked to my mom first, and then she gave the phone to me. He asked me if I saw it. I told him no. And that was basically the end of it. I guess he kept talking with her later. Apparently, one of the kids there had saw me with it and had, you know, snitched 
which I'm not saying was wrong. You know, I took something that wasn't mine. That's fine. But, you know, I was upset because I thought they were my friends and they snitched on me. I would have brought it back. So I wanted to have it for a few days. Anyways, he uh, ends up calling me back later. And um, I guess he tells my mom that someone said they saw me with it. So my mom gets really indignant with me and starts really berating me and telling me, you know, you sure you didn't take it? You sure you don't have it? And everything like that really getting at me. And I'm getting really emotional at this moment. And I kind of break down in tears a little bit. And I say, I swear on Jehovah, I didn't take it. <laughs> Shows how it really was to me, right? I swear on Jehovah, I didn't take it. I didn't see his knife. I swear, Mom. <sighs> they continue talking. I don't remember exactly what they talked about, but eventually... She got it out of me, and I admitted, yes, I stole the knife. I went, and I got it, and I showed it to her. So we drive over there that evening to bring it back to him. That evening. Now, I don't remember the talk that he gave to me, how he, you know, disciplined me or whatever. But I do remember one thing. When I showed up, he was standing there in a bathrobe. Remember, I never forget this. It was a green, like a mint green, fluffy bathrobe with a black leather belt holding it together. No cloth rope tied around it or anything like that. A black leather belt. And I was scared shitless that he was going to spank me. It wasn't my father. It wasn't my uncle. It wasn't anything to me. He was the daycare provider's husband. But because he was a witness, my mother figured that he should have disciplinary rights towards me. Because I didn't have a father. So someone had to show me. Someone had to show me the right way. Right? He didn't beat me. But I'll tell you this, he did scare the shit out of me that night. So much so that, like I said, I don't remember a word he said, I just kept looking at the freaking belt. Years later, come to find out, that sister and that brother are having problems in their marriage because he's abusive. Go figure. I thought that was an interesting story to share. Uh, how many religions do you know? And I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe there are other ones out there that are like this. That allow anyone in the church to beat their child. Just because you're in the same religion. Think the same way, preach the same thing. You're all united, brothers and sisters. That shit was fucking traumatizing. I didn't really think of it at the moment, but thinking of it later, like, wow. She would let any male in the hall, as long as they were a brother, beat me if they wanted to, if I was bad, because she thought her beatings weren't good enough for me. I would keep doing the same shit. I was talkative. I always had behavioral problems in school. Not that I really acted up. I like to talk. I was a talkative person. Because the people at school were more interesting and more fun than anyone at the hall. Why? There was only about two people in my hall who were the same age as me. And I don't even mean the same age. My closest friend in the hall was actually three years younger than me. My best friend, but three years younger than me. So no one really in my age group. So I had to talk to a lot of people in school, and that's where I got my social interactions and my friends and everything like that. So I was very talkative. And I got beat a lot for that. I got beatings all the time. I got beat with wet jeans. You ever get beat with wet jeans? She took them straight out of the washer and whoosh, hit me with them shits. I remember one time I got beat so bad that I went to school with welts and bruises on me. And 
I think I told someone in school, and they told me that my mom can't do that. That's abuse, and you can call someone. So the next time I got in trouble, I snidely said to her, you can't beat me. And she said, why not? And I said, because the teacher said that's abuse. She got real close to my face and said, I have the God-given right to discipline you. And if you call anyone, they're taking you away, not me. So I never called anybody. But I thought things like that were just a little much. Just a little much. Just a story I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was interesting. Major Bad Association. Big Daddy Badass. Out. Peace and love.